Somebody clap your hands and give the Lord a praise in the house tonight. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Everybody give the Lord a praise. Everybody on their feet. Everybody on their feet. Come on, everybody on their feet. Hallelujah to God. Glory be to God. Everybody on their feet. Come on, give the Lord a wave offering. Come on, give the Lord a wave offering as we welcome to this podium no other person than Bishop Winston George Baker, a man of God, a man that God have chose for this season. Come on, turn your buckets up, turn your buckets up, because there is a word in the atmosphere. There is a word in this house for you. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give the Lord a praise and welcome Bishop Winston Baker to this podium in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, keep those hands clapping. Open your mouth and shout a high praise in this house. Come on, he's worthy to be praised. Clap your hands and glorify the King of Kings tonight. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Somebody give him a hand clap of praise tonight. Come on, wave your hands and give the Lord a wave offering. He's worthy to be praised. Reach to the person next to you once a neighbor. My good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You're at the right place, at the right time for your miracle. Come on and smile and say, hello neighbor. My good neighbor, glad to see you. You're at the right place, at the right time for your breakthrough. Clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Jesus Christ, for he's good and his mercies endure it forever. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 13. Glory to God. Numbers chapter 13. God is a good God. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Verse 30. Numbers chapter 13 and verse 30. When you are there, just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it. For we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, 
The land through which we go, have gone, have gone to search it, is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that were that that and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come from the giants. We were in our own sight as grasshoppers. So we were in their sight. Glory. Hallelujah. Chapter 14. We are at chapter 14. Are you there? Verse 1. And all the congregation lift up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, We would God that we had died in the land of Egypt. Or would God we had died in this wilderness. And wherefore hath the Lord brought us unto this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return into Egypt? And they said one to another, let us make us a captain and let us return into Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of Israel. Holy Spirit, verse 6. And Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephana, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land, the land, the land, which we pass through to search it, it is an exceeding good land. Glory to God. It's a good land. Uh, if the Lord delight in us, somebody say, If the Lord delight in me, if the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us a land which is flowing with milk and honey only somebody said only don't you rebel against God's word don't rebel against God's promise don't rebel against the servant of God only rebel not against the Lord neither fear ye the people of the land don't walk in fear for they are nothing but bread for us. Hallelujah. Their defense is the part from them. The Lord is with us. Fear not. That is good enough. The Lord is with us. Eternal God, our Father, our King, our Master. God that give us breath. God that declare let there be light and there was light. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, here we are again in your house. Speak to your people, please, Holy Spirit. Trust me with your anointing one more time. Please let your blood from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet saturate me, Holy Spirit. Hide me under your blood. Father, please, in Jesus' name, somebody's here for a word from you. Somebody need a touch, Holy Spirit. Somebody need direction. Speak to your people. Trust me with your anointing one more time. Arise in this house and let all your enemies be scattered. Go before us and give us victory, dear Lord. Somebody clap your hands and give God a good praise in here. Come on, give the Lord a good praise in here. 
Before you take your seat, I want you to turn to four people and look them in the eyes and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, lap like a dog. God is a good God. Where is the worshipers? Tell your neighbor, lap like a dog. Clap your hands and praise God. Uh, hallelujah to God. God is a good God. You may be seated in the presence of the most high God. He's worthy. I worship him because he's king. We were in St. Elizabeth last night. Hallelujah to God. Body was a little bit weak, but thanks be to God. He speak to his people. Amen. And tonight we need another word from God. Somebody that come for a word, just wave your hand and say, speak, Holy Spirit. Thy servant hear it. I've been preaching from a few weeks, two weeks now, about the spirit of entitlement. Hallelujah. And that it's a, it's a principle, it's a principality, it's a demon that carries a, a grouping. He carries other spirit under him. Wherever that spirit is, there is ungratefulness, there is unthankfulness, there is murmuring and complaining. And uh, it's a spirit that, hallelujah, pints of things. It's a spirit that will always... Uh, Hallelujah. Come with discouragement. It will cripple. It will destroy your destiny. You got to be careful because the spirit comes in a time when you are near your breakthrough. Yes, the spirit is a demon that troubles you when he knows that uh, there is something right around the corner. You are next in line. He will discourage you out of your purpose. Here we see that Israel, I've been preaching from the other day, that Israel reached like three days away from the promise. And the Bible says that, that the mixed multitude begin to discourage Israel. The persons in the church that will point out negative stuff, they will always be there to speak things that, hallelujah, that will bring you to a place of unbelief. You got to be careful because God is a spirit. Hallelujah. And any man come to God must first believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So when you come to God, you got to search after God, feel after him until you have experienced, Paul said, I know in whom I believed. So he was a believer in God make him a knower know that God exists you used to believe but then you become one that knows that there is a realm of the spirit and uh, over there the battle is first won and then victory manifests in the physical you got to understand and so then the enemy knows because he lives in the realm of the spirit. He knows what was before. He know that uh, Israel was on the border of, uh, hallelujah, a great city that God promised. The city of Jericho. God promised Israel that I'm giving you all the cities, 33 cities in the land of Canaan. He said, I'm giving you all of them. Hallelujah. Now they are like a few days away from the first city. Hallelujah. And the enemy begin to point out that they haven't eat meat for a long time. Hallelujah. And now they begin to murmur about meat because the devil knows that three days away, oh, you're going to see cows and goats and sheep. You're going to choose what meat you want. It's yours, vineyards and Oh, skyscraper buildings. You are going to take it because God promised it. But the devil is trying his last attack. 
the one thing he can do now he said what can we do call the demons and they plan let us hallelujah release a spirit of discouragement let us re release on thankfulness and the spirit of ungratefulness let them murmur god hates a murmurer god hates complaining so let us just let them complain and murmur in the face of God. Oh, and the Bible said that. Hallelujah. They begin to murmur and complain. Oh, Jesus, and the anger of God burns. And God begin to rain judgment from the back of the camp oh lord but somebody cry out to moses and moses cry out to god and god stop the flame the fire hallelujah and the bible said that that god now begin to speak to moses and he said moses why are these people good and they are complaining about the manner talking about they need no more manner they don't know that i give you today's bread for today and when i'm ready to shift what you eat i will do it when I'm ready to shift your life, I will shift it. And if I allow you to go through this, I'm just processing you. And I will never give you more than you can bear. So you got to learn to give God praise in whatsoever state you find yourself. Be content tent and praise God because God is the giver and he know how to give his children good gifts so if you wait on him and while you're waiting you give him praise because your praise is what sends the message oh Lord when you are a praiser when you learn to praise God praise is like prophecy praise tells so when you're going through anything and you're praising God in that thing you're telling God I know you can shift it when you want so I'm praising you until you shift it glory to God and so the devil knows so the devil tries now use people to point out to Israel that there is no meat among them they got angry and begin to murmur and complain and God says Moses what's wrong with these people and he said I'm gonna feed them and let them know that when I wants to give I give and God said I'm gonna give them some meat and Moses he said should i will you give them one day and he said not one days no no not, not one week not 10 days i'm giving them 30 days of me and he said moses 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 this is not my divine will they are pushing me oh lord he said when i give it to them oh it's gonna come through their nostril he said when i give it to them it's gonna become insipid in other words you are pushing god hand to give you what you're not ready for god have a set time oh for everything there is a season oh lord just stop look on the person that is driving and you are taking taxi and you're saying this person is driving and this person is just 20 and i'm 35 i'm not driving yet shut up God know when to make you drive oh lord because sometimes you're 30 fold you're 60 fold your 100 fold can be a bicycle while that person 100 fold is a limousine you don't push God hand you don't force God you don't dictate when it comes on to God you allow him to have his way and if you push him oh lord and he do it oh lord you're gonna realize that you should allow god to do it in his timing because a blessing before its time it's a curse the prodigal son 
push daddy and say I'm ready for my inheritance and daddy give it to him before time and he waste it away come on somebody in riotous living because he was not ready for the blessing Israel was not ready for me oh Jesus and they murmur and complain come on with me the man and the Bible said God gave them one month of meat Oh, Shia, that means the meat waste, you know. Oh, Lord, that means because if it's three days left to reach the border, and I'm giving us one month supply, that means, hallelujah, most of it rot. Oh, Lord, the blessing become a curse. Are you coming with me tonight? But thanks be to God, now Israel is at the border and now God says it's time for you to get 12 spies I want you to get 12 captains 12 leaders remind me of the 12 apostles we are the worship and the 12 tribes of Israel remind me of 24 remind me holy spirit oh of the year of more oh it was the year of more but they didn't reap the more because of murmuring and complaining this was the spirit that black israel the bible said god sent 12 spies and the bible said they came back with reports and the bible said they begin to give an evil report they begin to say yes everything we need is in the land the land is truly flowing with milk and with honey in other words the land is full of stuff for both children and adults for milk is for babes and honey is for adults so they learn to have everything that you need come on here now he said nevertheless the people be strong that dwell in the land the city is walled and very great moreover we saw the sons of Anak. Now Anak was a giant. So now they are complaining about the giants. But how many know that when God is with you, no giant can kill you. God will use one stone. Oh, Shia. Where are the warriors in here? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. When God is with you, you don't look and start your baby. Don't look on your enemy's height. Don't look on your enemy's cap capabilities. Don't look on what your enemy has. Because God have a weapon that the enemy don't know. You see, the enemy come with sword. The enemy come with spear. The enemy come with shield. But guess what? David come with something that the enemy don't have. The enemy don't even know the power of the sling. Come on, warriors. You better reach your neighbor, say neighbor. My daddy have a way out. The devil don't know the next move of my daddy. He will use one stone and a sling and defeat a father. Fortified warrior a well-trained warrior come on touch your neighbor say neighbor as long as you allow God to fight the battle God will use simple things to defeat great people who am I preaching to now they are looking at the height of the enemy they are looking at what the enemy the, the arm the, 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 the ammunitions of the enemy they are looking at the weapons of the enemy but they are not looking on the God that took them out of Egypt they didn't have a sword and God defeat Egypt they didn't have a spear 
Come on, come on, slap your neighbor, say neighbor. When God get ready to, ready to bless you, you don't need education to get your blessing. You don't need a family to help you to get your blessing. You don't, when God get ready to bless you, he will just step over everything and bless you. Who am I preaching to drop out from school but still bless? All right, don't uh, you're not coming with me, you know, man. Come on, they are looking at the physical things. I said they are looking at the physical things and looking at the height of the enemy and the amount of the enemies. But God says, Oh, and the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south and you know who the Amalekites are the Amalekites are a set of witchcraft workers remember when God speak to Saul and tell Saul to utterly destroy the Amalekites and then God said to him you must kill the beast kill everything don't spare nothing everything kill the cow kill the goat kill him say kill everything the reason for that is because the Amalekites they are witchcraft workers they are so high in sorcery they will get in the animals and begin to move through animals and defeat their enemies so God said utterly destroy the animal because they are high class sorcerers you are coming with me now they are pointing out remember these are the same people who saw the Amalekites when they were coming to Rephidim anybody remember that they came from behind and God said Moses come here I want you to tell Joshua to go down in the valley and I want you to go up on the mountain top and each time you hold up your hand Pine to the principalities, and once you pine to the principalities, high ranking angels will pull them down. Come on, and while you are dealing with the demons on the top, Joshua will cut them down on the bottom because it's a two edges war, it's a two level warfare, physical and spiritual. Who am I preaching to? So he said, Hold up your hand. And the Bible said every time Moses' hand is lifted, Israel prevail. And any time, come on, his hand is down. Then Amalek prevail. Now they are about to go into the promised land. And they see Amalek inside the, the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. And the Hittites, be careful now because the Hittites is an another set of enemy when they come they use their mouth the Hittites is a spirit that shot you behind your back and tear you down they are like the Amalekites similar to the, the Amalekites they attack you from back behind you're coming with me but not only that the Amalekites what they do they attack the weak and the feeble in other words they will wait until you are vulnerable then they attack you gotta be careful you have some enemies you will never know that they hate you you will never know that they're against you until something bad take place in your life then all in a sudden you see when they see an enemy that is stronger than them come up against you then they team up with a stronger enemy somebody said the Hittites and the Zebatites and the Amorites I can't go through all of that now and then he said in the mountains and at the sea course there are the Canaanites Oh, Shire. In other words, enemies are all around. But if God says, I'm giving you that land, don't worry about who possess the land now. If God said, I'm going to bless you with something, don't worry about who have it all up now. Because when the fullness of time is come, God Himself I go shift stuff and give you what He promised you. 
Where are the warriors in here? Now listen to me now. Now these people, these 12 spies, they are among the company of the 70 elders that God chose and put the spirit of Moses on. So these 12 spies should be encouragers. These 12 spies should be the ones leading Israel in the promise but 10 of the spies begin to bring an evil report you better be careful of some church leaders be careful of some captains be careful they will discourage you where are the warriors kind of sight in here? I said they will discourage you from entering the promise. But I stopped by to tell you the Bible said there was a man, he was different. There was a man, his name is Caleb. Touch two people, tell them Caleb still the people before Moses and said let us go up at once and possess it can you look at somebody for the first time and say God said to tell you it's time for the church to go up and possess what God have for you it's time to take it by force anybody come here to take it Oh, yeah. me not go and left it. I'm sorry for those haters. I'm sorry for those who are nervous. I don't expect God to bless me big. You better drag your neighbor, say neighbor. I come here to take it. Me not leave on the earth without it. Me I take it in the earth. Me I walk it in the earth. Me I leave it in the earth. And then me I left it in the earth. And me I go at daddy. Come on, warriors. You better throw your head back. Open your mouth and say, Caleb. Still the people. Shut them down. Where is the worshippers? When them come to you, when them call your cell phone, and it's trying to discourage you, trying to run out of church, open your mouth and drive it from before you. Shut it down. Who am I preaching to? Still the people. And let them know we are well able to read the land. We are well able to possess the land. Tell somebody no man, I am well able to possess the land. If God say you have tried your own car. Open your mouth and say, me I possess it. The devil is a liar. And if God say he's a pastor, a pastor you shall become. And if God say you're a minister, a minister you shall become. And if God say you're a bishop, no devil can stop it. Me I possess it. Warriors, hold me a mouth. Throw your head back. Still the people. Shut them down. And let them know I'm going up at once. Come on, where is the worshippers? We are well able. Tell the neighbor, we are well able. King Jesus, you are well able. Come on, warriors, man. King Jesus, warriors. You are well able to take over Jamaica. You are well able. Who am I talking to? To save 50,000. To save 150,000 in Jamaica. You are well able. Who am I talking to? You are well able to prophesy and watch it come to pass. You are well able. To lay your hand and cancer patient and watch them being healed. 
who am I preaching to? It's kind of flat. You are well able to have your own business. You are well able. Can 10 people in here can say, I am well able to manifest the gift of prophecy. I am well able to manifest the gift of the word of knowledge. I am well able. Somebody up me a mouth in here. God hate and believe. God hate and believe. God hate and believe us. The first set of people that in my true in hell is the fearful and unbelieving. Up me a mouth and shout. Up me a mouth and shout. Up me a mouth and shout. Shout one more praise in here. Shout one more praise in here. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So it's time for the church to open me a mouth and pull down curse words. I don't care who releases it over your life. It could be a bishop. It could be a daddy. It could be a mommy. It could be a prime minister. I don't care who release an evil word over you God said turn it up your mouth and say something God said turn it somebody help her come on say turn it somebody said turn it Holy Ghost turn it up your mouth and say no weapon form against me shall prosper every tongue find the tongue right now man find the curse words find the witch find the wizard whatever they release I turn that right now who tell you not go make it who tell you they turn the down the devil is a liar reverse the curse Shandabasa. Yeah, my son. Somebody say something. We are Caleb. We need some Caleb. We need some Caleb. We need some Caleb in the house. Who am I talking to? We are well able. Get on your feet, man. Put on your feet. You need a seal of feet. Push by the enemy with feet. Who tell you can't come to nothing in life? The devil is a liar. Shanda Basa. Yama Messiah. Yapa Papa Basa. Up your mouth and shout. Up your mouth and pull it down. Up your mouth and reverse the curse. Up your mouth and plead the blood. Where are the warriors in here? Shanda, you are well able. I say you are well able. Tell your neighbor, you are well able. Shanda, the Messiah, you are well able. Come on, come on, speak to yourself. I am. Well able to possess the land that God promised me. I'm well able to become what God say over me. The devil is a liar. I push back every negative force. Somebody push it back right now. Push it back right now. Don't be, don't, don't, don't let the majority defeat you. Ten versus two. I don't need ten to reverse. I just need one to agree with me. Come on, warriors. All I need is a Joshua to hold on to the sword. May we use the mouth. Joshua, you use the sword. But Caleb said, Caleb said, you use, you use the sword, Joshua. I don't need no sword, Joshua. I'm going to open my mouth and I'm going to laugh like a dog. Shanda, you don't hear what I say. I'm going to open my mouth. I'm going to speak it into being. I'm going to open my mouth. I'm going to reverse the curse. I'm going to open my mouth. I'm going to push back hell. I'm going to open my mouth and possess. The Lord, open your mouth, show your head back, open your mouth, come on warriors, kill him, I don't need a sword. Where is the worshippers? Caleb said, I don't need a sword. I have another spirit. The spirit what them have is not that I have. I have another spirit. That spirit that may push upon God. While when God said no. 
me a push up on God. Who am I preaching to? You better hold me a mouth and push up on daddy right now. Push up on daddy right now. Push up on daddy. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Yes, sir. The man when Caleb said to the people we are well able let's go up at once and possess the land the Bible said the men that went up with him said we be not able to go up against these people they are stronger than we reach your neighbor say neighbor that are true they're more qualified than you. They're bright than you. They have everything it takes. And you don't have none of that. But guess what you have? You have who brighter than them. You have who wiser than them. You have who stronger than them. You have who better than them. So you don't have a position, you say. You don't have a size of yourself with them. All you need to do is go on before me, daddy. Go fix it for me, daddy. You say, daddy, I believe it and I check it, daddy. Who am I preaching to? You better throw your head back. Open your mouth and lap. Shire. Who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? I don't have no bad report. Me a lap like a dog. Me not have no Bad report. Me a really me a up me mouth. Me a leg on the tongue for life and death. In in the power of the tongue. So me I use it to bring life. Me I use it to bring prosperity. Me I use it on your mouth and declare I'm the head and not the tail. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I can go where God says I can go because I am what God says i am i am a royal priesthood open your mouth i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath i am royal priesthood holy nation peculiar people i am god peculiar treasure i am god's elect i am his remnant and the devil can't kill me before my time because i am god you better open your mouth in here. No? You better open your mouth in here. No? You better open your mouth. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Find your neighbor, squeeze that hand, and tell them you can do all things through christ you can achieve all things through christ that's training you there is therefore no condemnation to them that are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but we believe what god say the just shall live by the affair. Take two minutes and praise God. The worst one. Kill about the worst one. Where are the warriors in here? I said, kill about the worst one. Kill about the nothing. Kill about the least. Who am I preaching to? When I look up the word Caleb, the word Caleb come from a Hebrew, which means dog. 
So Caleb was nothing but a dog. Caleb mean dog. But when the dogs show up, there's something about dogs, you know. Don't put on all the dogs, you know. Because you have some things about dog. Dog is loyal to their masters, you know. Mm. Dog love no partial, you know. Who am I talking to? And dog protect them, who am I know? Who am I talking to? We need some dog in a church, you know. Because when you have a dog mentality, you know, run up the church. You know, sell out the believers. Who am I talking to? Yeah, when you feel like you're not feeling God. When you feel like you're not feeling the glory. You're not give up. You're going to push up on God. Anybody in here ever feel? You're not feeling the anointing. The way you used to feel it. You're not feel the power. The way you used to feel it. But me don't give up like Job. I turn to the right. I can't find him. I turn to the left. But he knows the way I take. And when I come out, I shall come out as pure gold. Because me a push up. Pan daddy. Me not retreat. Me not surrender. Me not backslide. Me not throw in the towel. Me not run left church. Me a push up. Where are the warriors? Where are the warriors? Where are the worshippers? Drag your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor. We need some more dark spirit in our church. Where are the warriors in here? Where are the worshippers in here? Where are the believers in here? I said, we need more dark spirit in church. Slip your hand in the person beside you. Shire. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of God. Shanda. And God says, Shire Basa. Because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles which I did in the wilderness and, I, and they have tempted me these ten times and have not hearkened to my voice, squeeze that hand, let them feel you. Surely they will not see the land. Squeeze your hand and tell your neighbor, if you don't believe God, you will never experience his glory. Squeeze that hand and tell your neighbor, believe God tonight. God, I God bless you. Open your spirit and receive where God have in store for you. And then your grandma, your grandfather, your sister, your uncle with the America. A God one bless you. So stop look to your foreign relatives and start look to God. Because without faith, it is Im impossible. To please God, squeeze that hand and pull some fear. You need faith in this last days. God said, You will not see the land which I swear unto your fathers, neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. Stop provoke God Almighty and walk by faith. Believe God and watch God work it out. Squeeze that hand, let them feel you. Squeeze some feet into the person. I said, squeeze some feet into the person. You don't come here to see people, you come here to worship God. You don't come here to socialize, you come here to worship Jesus Christ. You better squeeze that hand and let them feel you. But my servant Caleb because he had another spirit with him 
What kind of spirit kill above? When God look at you, God has see you like everybody else. I God has see you as somebody who have another spirit. The spirit that will never give up. A spirit that believes God for the impossible. A spirit that says, God, I will not let you go. A spirit that says, until you bless me, I will not give up but my servant Caleb because he have another spirit and had followed me fully is there somebody near you're not in a this for backslide you're not come at church we say church I got work for you you're not there because of a girl or a boy a God you are seek. A God you come for. A God you are worship. A God you want. Send of a son. Lamb Messiah. So if your best friend walk out of church, you know I'm backslide. Send of a Messiah. If the girl where you like, say, I want you. I demand what you like, say, him no want you. You nah skip church. You better squeeze that hand in her. You come for a word tonight. He that have an ear to hear. He's different. She is different. She is following me whole heartedly let them feel you shaya basa shanda basaya haya baba basaya i said let them feel your god say him will i bring in the land and his seed Because him not there. Because him warm blessing. She's not here. Because she want house or care or wedding. But she's here because she love me. He's here because he have another spirit. Shayabasa. I am Messiah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in my belly. Who am I preaching to? The word Caleb mean dog. It speak of having a bold spirit. It speak of carrying boldness and believing God wholeheartedly. Come on, is there any Caleb spirit in here? The Bible said, Behold, there was a woman of Canaan who came out of the same course, cried unto Jesus, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord. Come on, son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. And the Bible said, And he answered her not a word. But how many come here and pray and don't get no answer? You expect Bishop to come prophesy over you, and I know Bishop not prophesy upon you you expect a breakthrough and now know you don't get it but all when God gone silent you still a push upon God answer it her not a word she start to go to the apostles she said apostle please pray for me i go to the master and the master don't answer my prayer can you go to the master on my behalf and he go to the she go to the first one and Peter turn her down. Second one. John turn her down. Every apostle turn her down. And then the apostles went to Jesus now. And the Bible said the, his apostles came and besought him saying, Send her away. For she cried after us. 
this woman have another spirit Jesus turn her down you better squeeze that hand in her because society full up of the spirit of entitlement if you don't get it when you want it you quit you better squeeze that hand but God said I have a Caleb and a Joshua generation that I'm raising up in Jamaica you better squeeze that hand I said God said I have a Caleb I have a Caleb people we're coming like a dog nobody to intercede the leaders send her away and then go to the only one can help her and pray about prayer Lord send her away she cry it out for us but when you carry a Caleb spirit nobody can push you out of God nobody can run you out of God they can lock the church too but they can't lock God where is the worship? They can disfellowship you, but then can block you from God. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking A broken heart and a contrite spirit. He will not despise. You go right from God. What if you don't get the Holy Ghost when you think you forget it? What if you don't get the breakthrough when you think you forget it? What if you don't get RDN when you think you forget it? You're going to walk away from God. Shia. You better squeeze that hand. The woman was disappointed, but she carried something. She decided, I'm going back again, Gabal. I'm crying to the one who can help me. The woman went back to Jesus. This time, Shia Basaya. Uh, she started to shout hallelujah this time. She started to worship this time. Oh Lord, she changed her, her approach. Prayer no works. So let me worship God now. The woman start worship. And Jesus now talked to the woman now. Jesus come back to the woman and said, it is not good to take the children's bread. And who you call God? What kind of preaching that him a preach? Uh, Jesus said that. It is not good to take the children's bread and give it to the dog. But how many know when you have a dog spirit? Shy of a sire. The master now have to share out a plate of food. Just give me the bone. Shia, when you have a dog spirit. Oh Lord, you know, have, you know what will somebody else have? As long as you get the crumbs. Who am I talking to? Who come at church? Not going to watch people blessing. Not going to look on people break through. Not going to look on who I get this first. And who are married. And who not married. And who I get job. And who not and get job and you their back a line shut your mouth I'm waiting all the days of my appointed there is an appointed time there is an Kyrios I'm not going to give you the healing. The healing belongs to those over there. You're a dog. Let them feel it. Don't let them go. You are a dog. You commit some sin. You make some mistake. 
you come like a stench. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Religious folks can't listen to this message. Because religious folks believe they are righteous. But it wasn't fornication. Send them back in the wilderness. It wasn't stealing and it wasn't lying. It was not murder. That caused them to die in the wilderness. For f they, they walk in circles. Ah. Is there somebody near can say, Lord, please. I don't want to die in the wilderness. Squeeze that hand. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to die. Not receiving your promise. Because I'm a murmurer. Because I'm unthankful. Because of ungratefulness. Dogs have no time to be ungrateful. Dogs have no time to be unthankful. Squeeze that hand, we're going in. I'm not giving it to you because you're a dog. You mess up. Your mind is messed up. Masturbation, mess you up. Fornication, adultery, mess you up. You are a dog. Your sin separates you from your God. Oh Lord. But there is a people that carry a spirit. Even though I'm messed up. Even though I'm low in the spirit. Even though it seems as if there's no way out. I'm not backing down. I'm not giving up. I'm not showing in the towel. Even though you see me as a dog. Even though I don't deserve the meat. Even though I don't deserve the breakthrough. True Lord. Yet the dogs. The dogs. The dogs eat. The crumb. If you don't bless me, God, who is going to? If I run away from you, Lord, who I'm going to run to? If I give up on you, Lord, who is my help? You better squeeze that hand and let your name and know there is nowhere to go. Shanda, come on if you turn to the right. If you take the wings of the morning and fly to the uttermost part of the sea, if you make your bed in the head, Jesus said, Woman, great is your faith. Woman, I love your attitude. Woman, I am impressed with your faith. God said, I want to, I want to raise up an army. You better squeeze that hand and shake it. I want to raise up an army to defeat the Amalek, the Midianites. I want to raise up an army to take what I promise. I want to raise up an army. Come here, Gideon. I want to raise up an army. Ask who want to come on the Lord's side. 32,000. God said, Gideon, 32,000 is too much. Just tell them, all those who are faint-hearted, you can go home. If you're fearful, go on home. And the Bible said 10,000 remain. 
the 22,000 gone home out of 32,000 and 10,000 remain. And God said, it's an army me a look. God said, me a look one army that will defeat the enemy. I'm looking for a set. Me a search for a certain type of spirit. Me a search for a certain type of attitude. I'm searching for a set. Hear them to the brook. Squeeze that hand. Take them to the brook. Let us test them and see who is ready to work for God. Let us see who is ready to stand up for God. Bring them to the brook. And then he said, when you bring them to the brook, tell all of them to drink water. Shia Basaya. Oh, tell anybody who only goes to the water. Who am I preaching to? You don't read it, you don't believe it, and me as scripture have said, out of your belly shall throw rivers of living water. So bring them to the brook, bring them, and then get holy ghost. Let them drink of the living water. Come on, let them drink. But guess what? You see, all of them where to drink, all of them where see, all of them that you see get the holy ghost. I want you to watch and see which set. <laughs> Lap like a dog. <laughs> we need some alert people that is on the alert we need some people who are ready for warfare we need some people where we suffer with christ we need some people who them coming like a dog shire you can't insult them out of church you can't back bite them out of church you can't chat them out of church you can't use your eyeball and roll them out of church them love god too much you can't buy them out who am i talking to they are not for sale them are hungry for god a god them are defend every time they open their mouth all when they don't have nothing in the fridge and you ask them how you doing i'm blessed who am i talking to uh-huh who am i talking to yes sir who am i talking Really, just folks look upon you like a dog. But tell your neighbor, don't worry yourself. You can't call me all the dog you want. You can't look me down like a dog all you want. I have news for you. God say in the last days he might raise up a dog them. Who am I talking to? Are the dogs in my use? Come on, squeeze that hand. Shire. You know what pop my mind wide open? Squeeze that and I have to push this in. This is what? Trouble me. When I look and I see that this woman God call her a dog. It's that bishop that call her a dog. It is God call her a dog. And after Jesus call her a dog in this verse, the verse after, Jesus said, great is your faith. In one gospel, he said, I have not seen so great faith. Not even in, among your persons. Not in Israel. That means dog faith, a great faith. Squeeze that hand, I'm going in. When Israel is under pressure, God said, do the dog test. And those who lap like a dog, bring them. These 300 will bring deliverance. These are the set that they don't take glory for themselves. Squeeze that hand. When I use them to bring deliverance, they will never honor themselves and worship themselves and act as if they are the ones that do it. They are going to give praise to God. Squeeze that hand. I'm coming in. 
squeeze that hand. Then I begin to look. I said, well, if God had called Caleb dog and Caleb still the people and out of the 2.7 million only two enter. Out of 2.7 million that left Egypt only two enter the promise. And guess how we stood? No dog, man. So better touch your neighbor and say, me I go over you know. You might look at me like dog, but me I go over. Where is the worshippers in here? Lord Jesus, somebody said, Jamaica, 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 one island when I stop, call people dog. You know what, it, man? Me mm? tired like dog. Never hear that yet. Oh, Jesus. And, 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 you know, and if you smell bad, then say you stink like dog. Now say, go, come on, man, where's the worship person here? And if you get pregnant often. Yeah? Yes, sir. And if you ever not look so nice, hear them now? She ugly like that. Eh? And if you ever slim, if you manga like that, we can go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Remember, we used to get so rough and tough and say, Yo, don't call me no dog. Don't call me no dog. Because when they say, Why go on, dog? Don't call me no dog. But the truth is, when you're sick, you see him when I say, boy, I'm sick like a... Come on, no man, it's kind of flat. <laughs> eh? And when he's hungry, when he say? And if somebody ever dead body, hear them now? <laughs> and if you ever go on foolish, then call you. See a fool like a... Eh? And if you go on like you have no ambition, hear them now? In what place like? Where is the worship? It's kind of a little bit flat. Touch your neighbor. Yeah. Uh, where go on, dog? I'm in there, dog. Huh? And we know the, the popular song where they sing. Can't himself old dog. No, sir? Where is the worship? Come on, man. It's kind of flat. Where is the worship? Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Shire. If I have no money, I broke like dark. We have all the believers in here. Wave your hands. Shia Basa. Wave on. Shia Basa. Well, I love God tonight. Because God says, those who lap like a dog, they are going to reap the promise. How do I lap like a dog? Shayavasa. A dog weapon is his mouth. A dog never win a battle if the dog's mouth is closed. Hallelujah. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, your victory is in your lapping. Squeeze that hand and tell him your victory is in your tongue. Your victory is in your praise. Your victory is in your worship. When you learn how to worship God, he will show up and give you the victory. Somebody take 
two minutes in this house and let hell know oh lord i said let hell know victory is mine come on warriors the promise is mine the victory is mine whatever god promised me i'm taking it by force come on somebody throw your head back david said i will bless the lord at all times his praises shall continually be in my mouth oh magnify the lord with me let us exalt his name together we are the worshipers come on warriors i will lift mine eyes unto the hills from whence come it up me a mouth and say something my help all of my help come it from the lord come on warriors connect with your tongue tonight connect with your praise tonight connect I am well able the promise is already made I am well able to take it by force who am I preaching to somebody throw your head back open your mouth and take it by force Shire. somebody take it by force the devil is a liar take it by force open your mouth throw your head back and declare no weapon that it form against me shall prosper and every tongue rise up against me in judgment we pull it down right now come on every curse word we pull it down right now somebody declare and decree lift up your right foot put it down open your mouth and let hell know yea though I want through the valleys of the shadow of death I shall fear no evil for the word with me thy rod and thy stuff they comfort me don't prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil until my cup run it over surely goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of thy life and i shall dwell where are the warriors in here somebody said lap man lap open your mouth and lap open your mouth and lap the lord is my light and my salvation lap whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid when the wicked my enemies and my foes come up against me to eat up my flesh they stumble and fell though an host shouldn't jump against me in this will i be confident one thing of i desire of the lord will i seek after that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days 
of my life where are the warriors in here where are the worshippers in here lap like a dog lap like a dog me not giving up me not letting go me not throwing the towel forward still somebody lap like a dog forward still to Jehovah's will though the pillows dash and spray with a conquering threat somebody lap like a dog push ahead lap like a dog push ahead lap like a dog lift your two hands son look in my eyes listen to me now son the devil assign high ranking unclean spirits to Madia. It was hell's desire for you to eat out of the garbage bin. But God give his angels charge. You need to document this testimony. God said you need to put this testimony And put it down because you have a story to tell. Son, God say, when the demon comes, he enters into you. And when the demon enters into you, he begin to speak in your spirit. You begin to see things. You start to see all around you see spiritual things. You begin to hear spiritual things. The devil wanted, to do, wanted you to do some bad stuff. But because God is inside of your spirit. You wrestle. You wrestle. You wrestle, you wrestle, and you say no, me don't do it. God said to tell you, son. God said to tell you, He will never leave you, nor forsake you. He will be with you to the ends of the earth. God said to tell you, there is a purpose, is it? A purpose in you. You shall be a preacher, a preacher of the gospel. The devil can't kill you. If he could, you would have been dead. The devil can't mad you. If he could have, you would have been mad. But because God angel is an assignment to protect you, that's why you are here tonight. I speak over you right now. No weapon. Somebody help him. Shia, Shanabasa. Somebody better help him. Somebody better help him. Somebody better help him. Push back the attack. Drive it out of here. Somebody plead the blood over him. Plead the blood over him. Plead the blood over him. Shia, Shana. Where are the warriors in here? Say something. Warrior, say something. Warrior, say something. Worship, I say something. Somebody said, No weapon, no weapon. Somebody said, No weapon. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. That is formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue rise up against me in judgment. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Shia. You are in a Holy Ghost church. And in the Holy Ghost church, 
We see things in the spirit before it manifests in the flesh. I'm going to give you an instruction now. Tonight we cover you under the efficacious blood. Now we hide you. Somebody hide her. Somebody hide her. Somebody hide her. When I see the blood, somebody pray, plead the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ hide you. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Up your mouth and say something, warriors. Up your mouth and say something, warriors. Holy Ghost, feel fire baptized. Up your mouth and plead the blood. Up your mouth and echo blood, 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 blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody echo. Somebody echo the blood. Somebody shout glory, hallelujah. Somebody shout glory, thank you, Jesus. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Shire. I want this rock to go upstairs. I need a fast warrior. Come. Bring it to her. And tell her, I said, Bishop, see it. I say big. I release it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Where are the warriors in here? I said, God, I deal with the thief. I said, God, I give what belongs to you. The devil is a liar. Somebody up your mouth. Up your mouth and plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody give God one more shout. One more shout of praise. One more shout of praise. Somebody show glory. Hallelujah. Look like a dog. Up your mouth and send them praises. Kiss daddy Jesus. No other can kill you. When you learn how to laugh. Where are the warriors in here, man? No witch can block you when you learn how to lap. No Amalekites, no Midianites can stop you when you learn how to lap. You hear what Caleb said? They are like bread. You're not hearing me? Lift your right hand. The scripture that I've read in the hearing, Caleb said, they are like a loaf of bread yes, sir. for us. Let's go up at once and take it. You, when you have time, do you know what I want you to read? I want you to read Joshua, Judges chapter 7. Thank you, Jesus. When they lap like a dog. Yes, the 300 was there. I wonder if there's any bright bright Bible scholar in here. The Midianites got dream in their tent. Anybody remember the dream? Oh, Shia. Them see one loaf of bread. And it just rolled down at them camp and just destroy everything. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. A bread. Remember the woman, man? It's not me to take the children bread. Come on, no man. Where is the warriors in here? But touch your neighbor and say, I got eat. No devil can stop me from eat. Come on. Up your mouth, no man. Come on, tell the neighbor, look on me, good bless. The blessing of God, I got to run me down. Who not like it, bite it. Where is the worshipers in here? I got to praise God when we don't have nothing. 
I watch God I lift me up. We are the worshipers. Stand and you lift your hand in the air. Hands high. After three, Shia. Yamasa. After three, you're going to give God some real praise. You're going to open your mouth and you're going to release a praise from your belly, not from your head, from your belly. Shia. You're going to praise God for what you don't have. And you're going to give him thanks until he do it. It's a yet praise. It's a yet praise. One, two, three, shout! Shout again. Shout until you are connected to God. Shout until you connect. Shout until you feel him in your belly. Shout until he gives you a feature. Shout until he speak to you. Shout until he open every shut door. Shout until he shift the dynamics. Shout! Shanda. Lap. Shaya. Worship in the Holy Ghost. Lap. Worship him in the spirit. Lap. They that lap like a dog is ready. Use your mouth to bring deliverance. Your deliverance is in your praise. Your breakthrough is in your worship. If you ever learn how to connect with God, if you ever learn how to give God a true worship, if you ever learn how to use your spirit and lift him up, if you ever learn how to worship God, he will take you out of your body, transport you into the heavenly realms, speak to your spirit, show you things which is, which was, and is to come. Get in the Holy Ghost and wash. Shaya. Yeah, Masha. Yeah, Papa, Papa, Sha. Shana. My God, my, 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 this worship is to shift you over. This worship is to shift you in the realms, shift you over in the third dimension, shift you over the realms your angels communicate. Man, do kushinda, randi kunda, ribandi kushaya, manda kushi. This worship is to start a fire in your belly. Stir up the gifts, stir up the word of knowledge, stir up the gift of prophecy, stir up the, stir up the gift of faith. Shift over and start to walk by faith. Shift over and take what God of in store for you. Shift over and move in the next dimension. Shift over and walk in the new. Shanda in the new season. Come on. No near me shall break through. I said, No near me shall break through. I'm taking it by force. Come on, warriors, help me about. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout. Shout! Shout! Oh! Yes, sir! Mm. Yes, sir! Mm. Yes, sir! Somebody's getting an open vision! Somebody's getting an open vision! Shanda! Right in church! But you're shifting a new dimension! Right in the church worshiping God! But you are in heavenly realms! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Shift over! Shire! Yandabasa! Yabapasaya! 
Shanda Bashaya Yamasha. If you can't feel anything, oh my God, something is drastically wrong with you. This place is charged. This place is charged. The glory of God full the building. If you're not feeling anything, you are spiritually dead. You need to come to the altar and reach out and touch him. The presence of the Lord is in this house. Come on, warriors. Come on. The anointing is flowing. The anointing is flowing. Uh -huh. Come on, and the social media platforms. Receive a touch from God. Receive a move from God. Come on, somebody. Experience the glory. Experience the glory. God says, surely as I live, my glory shall fill the earth. Come on, warriors. His glory is on you. Tell somebody he's on you. His glory is on you. Come on, experience his glory. And take it home with you. Take it in the vehicle. I said, take it at your workplace. His glory shall fill the earth. We take it from the church. And we bring it to our homes. We bring it on the street. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, let the glory rise, let the glory fill the building, let the glory fill your cup. The songwriter said, Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up. Shanda Shayabasa. Yeah, mama, masa. my God, who am I talking to? I said, if you don't feel anything, something is wrong. If you don't feel even a little goose pimple, a little cool bump, you are dead. The dead can't praise God. Now they that go down in silence, come on, lively stones. Building up spiritual houses, singing praises unto our God, worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. Open your mouth one more time, shout one more hallelujah, shout one more glory, shout one more glory, hallelujah. Let the glory rise. Come on. I made my ministers ministers of fire let the fire of god burn two hands high god is going to release some fire on you shire demon melt like wax when this fire is present two hands in the air after three i want everybody to say fire three times and at the fourth time just say jesus one two three one two three one two three here it comes now here it comes here it comes here it comes here it comes put your hand on the neighbor and said jesus 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 receive the fire stir it up stir it up receive the fire the fire of god john baptize you with water but he that cometh after john he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire fire to burn upon clean spirits fire to burn yokes fire to destroy witchcraft come on take it fire to destroy every works of darkness take it take it take it use it take it Shia Basa, Ya Messiah. Every child of God must have fire. Burn up sin, carnal nature. Burn up base desire. Fire. Touch your neighbor and tell them keep the fire alive. Keep the fire burning. Give them your right hand and put some fire in it. Keep the flame alive. Fire, 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 fire. Never let it go fire, out. Fire, fire, fire. If your fire, fire go fire, out, fire, demons fire. will sit on you. If the demon, if the fire go out, demon will wrap around you. They will be on your back. Fire, fire. They will be on your head. 
they will wrap around you but when the fire is blazing they melt like wax keep the flame alive come on shake your neighbor hand and say, keep the flame alive shire yeah messiah a refilling of the fire some people don't get it one more time two hands in the air two hands in the air receive some fire from god tonight receive something from god tonight two hands in the air those who are spiritual understand what i'm saying those who are carnal is foolishness unto him lift your hands warriors liquid fire shall fall in your in your vessel tonight shy of us lift your hands now after three receive from god tonight remember he is a consuming fire one two three fire one two three one two three one two three yes here it comes 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 take it take it take it receive receive from god without faith you can't receive without faith you can't receive receive take some fire burn up something take some fire destroy something take some fire my god my god shire Shanda, zeal, let it please, let it please, let it please, let it please. No demon can sit on fire. Let it please. Shaya masa, ya masa, ya no witchcraft can come in your dwelling. Fire, 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 fire. Shanda, somebody open your mouth and say something. Up me a mouth and say something. Up me a mouth and yada. Up me a mouth and yada. Up me a mouth and push back every deep man in powers. Drive it out of your house. Fire, 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 fire. Fire. Uh-huh. Shanda. Fire, fire, fire. Come on, warriors. I hope you understand. Shanda. Yes, 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 yes. Burn up everything. Burn up cancer cells. Burn up diabetes. Yes. High blood pressure. Burn it up. Burn up that flu symptoms. Burn it. Shanda basa. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa Papa sir. Burn out that cyst. Burn it out. I said, burn out the fibroid. Come on. Come on. I said, burn it up. Burn out that lump out of the breast. Burn it. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Fire. Shanda Basa. Burn it up. Burn. Burn it up. Burn. Fire. Burn. You get Holy Ghost. Burn it up. I said, burn it up. Every kidney infection and disease. Burn it up. Shanda. Fire, 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 yeah, fire, fire, herpes. Fire. Burn it up. Fire, 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 fire. Burn up everything. Fire, fire. You're the child of God. Now burn it up. Fire. fire Holy Ghost, fire. fire Holy Ghost, drive it out of your body. Shanda Basha. Drive it out. Hey. By fire. Drive it out. Fire, fire. Sickness fire, and fire, disease. Fire, fire, fire. Drive it out. Fire, 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 fire. Shanda. Fire, fire, Walk fire. in the power Holy of God. Ghost, fire. Walk in victory. Walk. Shire. Drive out that HIV out of you. Drive it out. Holy Ghost, I'm going to drive it out of you tonight. I command HIV. Come out of your body. I drive it out. I command it to go. What the doctor can do, only Holy Ghost can do is fire. Somebody blaze some fire in here, man. Somebody bring some fire, Holy Ghost, fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire, fire, fire. Shanda. Holy Ghost, fire. Yeah, Messiah. Shire, Baba Massa. Come on, warrior, say something. Come on, worship, I say something. Come on, warrior, say something. Open your mouth and plead the blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 blood,
If the any man be Jesus. in Christ, blood, 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 he's a new creature. Blood, 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 All things are passed away. Blood of Jesus. And you become brand new in Christ Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And you are. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Shine to you with Christ Jesus. Blood of Jesus. As he was in the world, so are you in the world. If you are here and, yet, and you are not yet saved, please walk to this altar. If you are here and you are not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, come now, please. Come. 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 Yes, if you need the Holy Ghost, walk to this altar. Shire. Yes, walk to this altar. Come on, warriors. Keep the praises on. Yes, walk to this altar. Come, step by faith. Step out by faith. Walk to this altar. Come on, worship. I say something. It's not by might, not by power. Why it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Where are the altar workers? Altar workers, altar workers, altar workers, altar workers. Come on, warrior, say something. It's not by might, not by power. Say something. It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Yes. Yes. Jesus. The water is troubled. Yes, intercessors. Yes, Jesus. Prayer warriors. Yes, Shia Basa. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, somebody. Calling for sinners. Come on, warriors. Come home. Come on, somebody, stretch your hands towards the altar, please. And begin to pray. Come on, begin to pray. It's time to answer the call. Begin to pray. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, believers. Come on, believers. Jesus. The water is troubled. Is calling, yes. Calling yes, the water is troubled. Yes. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling for you. The water is troubled. Yes. Answer the call. Answer the call. When Jesus Answer the call. Calling, calling yes. For sinners, yes. Come if any man hear his voice, harden not your heart. Answer the call. Is there one that is ready? Is there one person that is saying, I'm ready to answer the call. I'm ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Jesus said, except you be born of the water and of the spirit, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God yes yes Jesus is ready 
Jesus is ready. Are you ready? Jesus is ready. Are you ready? Jesus say come on. He who are we person tonight yes step out by faith God is ready to receive you step out by faith shame the devil let go of the world let go and let God say God I am ready I've waited many years but tonight I'm making up my mind to walk with you is there one person tonight the Bible says heaven rejoices over one soul that is saved. One person tonight will you answer the call. He's calling you softly. He's calling you tenderly. He's saying to you, come. The water is troubled. Come. The angels of the Lord has already troubled the water. Come. Now is the time. Come. Let him fight your battles for you. Surrender it to him tonight. The Bible says all that is in the world. The lust of the eyes. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the desires. Those cannot satisfy you. But Jesus can satisfy you. Jesus is able to change your situation. Jesus is able to turn it around. 360 degrees. No matter what they said about you, Jesus is saying to you, I am yours if you will let me in your life. Come on, somebody. I ask the Spirit of God to release you tonight. No matter what the enemy is saying over your life, the Spirit of God, I release you tonight from the grips and the power of the enemy. Loose them, Father. Loose them. Jesus said, no man can come unto me except the Father. The Spirit first draw him and bid him to come. Is there one person tonight? One person tonight. You heard the word. The Spirit is tugging on your heart. Will you say yes to him tonight? Is there one person? Who will heed the call? Step up by faith. For without faith it is impossible to please God. Those who come to him must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Step out by faith. You can't do this of your own self. But he will assign angels to you. He said if you publicly declare. Before me. If you confess before me if you don't deny me I will not deny you before the father wouldn't you want somebody to fight for you fight the battles for you 
only God knows what you're going through. And only he can fix it for you. Let go and let God. Is there one person tonight? We're calling. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to any man. The Lord says, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Stiffen not your neck. But come. The table is set. Ready. He prepare a table Are before you in the presence of come your enemy. On. And he will anoint your head with oil. Will you come and partake Talk tonight? The feast. You have been to the feast. Come. Calling. Calling for sinners. Come home. Will you hear and come listen to the pastor's call tonight? Come. Come home. Your situations you can't manage. Come. Your battles you cannot fight. Come. Come home. You need help. Come. You need healing. Come. You need deliverance. Come. Jesus is calling. Calling for sinners. Hallelujah. Come home, Jesus, come home, Jesus, 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 come home, Jesus, 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 Jesus. 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 Step out on faith. Maybe you are the one that is going to make the change in your family. Step out on faith and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is, is calling. The water is troubled. For sinners. The water is troubled. Come home. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come home. Come home. He Answer the call. Answer the call. He's good. And his mercy is enduring forever. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Perfectly tenderly, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's called. You will just say yes to him. Come on. Even woman. Even me, Lord. Even me, Lord. Let some traps now fall on me. Even me, Lord. Even me. Let some traps fall on me. 